saying is exactly the urgent need that there is in Australia in particular and in the world in general. And this need, paradoxically, if you want, has to do with the fact that, as we all know, we are going towards a reverse of the Tower of Babel, so we are losing languages more and more, uh, which makes revival linguistics a much more relevant field. Exactly the opposite of what many people say. Oh, you know, like you know, we don't. We, we will all speak one language. So who cares about? I think that in in several hundreds of years. I mean, this is you, know, you might argue it's foolish to predict, but there will be Slovenes and Estonians going to Canberra, Adelaide to learn about language revival. So there is an urgent need. It's already happening. There. there is an urgent need to characterize both the needs the potentials, the desires, because there are many types of desires. And you're right, I mean, some of the original people would say, oh, we just want to be different. We can have some post-vernacular lexical items. A little bit like Jews in America, they, they know to say mishpoche or mishpuche, and they know to say schlep, and, they eat, and, and th this makes them kind of feel very Jewish. Although you can kind of count, I don't know, like 30 words or whatever that they use. 30, 20? Look at Salabinol's word, why not? Come on. Which one? Salabinol. Yes, yes. It's not the word. Thousand. Thousand, okay, okay. No, uh, but, 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 but she doesn't count thousands in every Jewish community. No, no. There is a continuum between the right. deep Jewish English to light Jewish English. Right, 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 right. No, I'm not. I'm not yeah, I'm not, I'm not. You know, it's like in the Bible there are only 8,000 words. Yes, yes. But, you know, and, and in Israeli there are 100,000 words, but most Israelis do not use 100,000 words. So, I mean, I did not mean that. I meant that I know many Jewish people in America who only know 30 Yiddish words, but I'm sure there are many who know thousands. So um, coming back to, to your question, I think that there is an urgent need to, and this is what we both are doing. I mean, and this is exactly what, 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 what has happened in Australia so far? There have been revival attempts, many failures, many by non-linguists, and all, practically all, by people who do not understand universal constraints of language revival. There is no, I mean, give me one person in the past who analyzed universal, it's a little bit like, you know, I mean, mutatis mutandis, you know, like Chomsky talking about universal grammar. We are not talking about universal grammar, we are talking about universal revival mechanisms slash constraints slash desires slash, slash etc. Et so, there is an urgent need, and this is exactly what we are going, we are, we are doing, and we are going to do in Australia. There has never been a comparative study w which was conducted by the very same people. Say, okay, this is Gamilaroi, this is Ghana, this is Ghana. There, there, there has been a, a book by friends of mine, which was published uh, a year ago, Reawakening uh, Languages in Australia, which had like one article by this, one article by that, one, but it was not coordinated as, as a field, as a systematic, rigorous uh, uh, analysis, and this is exactly what